by how we've structured these web pages by embedding teaching and learning objects that will allow us to discuss a page in multiple places. So if I click on this paper here, I've actually got seven embedded teaching and learning objects. If I click on 2.6, it pushes me down the page. And what I'm displaying are the captions of the TLO, but not the bodies. And if I click here, add new comment, I can discuss just this section. And if I click here, I can discuss section 2.5. And if I scroll back up to the top and click edit, I now can look at the kind of content types. And I see that I have um, um, the body here. And within the body, um, I've got my table of contents. And then I've got these flags and these NIDs. And these NIDs are embedded nodes. And each of those is a teaching and learning object. And we'll go explore one of those here in a second. So I get back to the view. And I click on 2.6. And this is the title of it. And if I click on the title now, um, I see the embedded learning object, but I see additional field information. I see these videos, and if I click on edit, I see that there are four basic fields to a teaching and learning object. There's the title, there's the caption, there's the body, and this body has three other teaching and learning objects embedded with it, within it. And then down below, there is the option of putting up a TLO file. Now, there was no TLO file here. But these three head TLO files, those were the embedded videos. So if I go back to view, I click here. Um, I see that I have this TLO file, and I see that it stops here with the red, and I can discuss this video. Or I can go down here, and I can discuss this video. So I'm able to discuss each object independent of the rest of the paper or other objects. If I now click on the title, I not only see the uh, object, but I see an additional material that's embedded. And that additional material was in the body. And it could have had additional TLOs embedded in it. And so here is my title, my caption. And then below the body is the TLO file down here. And this happens to be a YouTube. But it could be a video. Um, it could be um, a Java applet or whatever. And then this is the text associated. and this architecture allows us to actually expand the course content as the class is being developed. So for example, this particular um, activity, um, using Excel to calculate a molar mass through the web, we didn't know we could do when the course started. But by embedding it into the TLO of this section on accessing data on websites, um, I was able to extend the course content without ever extending the actual page that I was looking at. So if I go back to the actual original page, this is the page that the author submitted. And, um, and each of these can be discussed at different locations. And that's the idea of the teaching and learning object. And with the teaching and learning object, we could extend the course content um, above that, which we had when the class started. Thank you.